Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at tables, the benefits of tables and some of the nice features that Excel provides when you convert your data ranges into tables. So here I have a data range and it looks like I'm down to uh, row 110 and I've set up my data uh, range uh, in, in the proper format. I have uh, empty rows below and next to and it's abutting the, um, the column headers and the row numbers so and I don't have any empty spaces or empty rows or columns in here so it's a nicely laid out data range and that makes it much easier when we try to convert this to a table or want to use the data. So the first thing you want to do is convert your data range to a table. The easiest way to do that is using the shortcut Control T. Hold down your Control button and hit the letter T and a dialog box will pop up uh, for creating the table. It'll identify the range. Again, it will do that mainly because the formatting and the layout of my data range is proper. I don't have any additional empty rows or or cells in it. And it also has identified that I have header uh, and headers in my table. Again, I can check or uncheck that. But if I hit OK, now notice automatically it has provided three basic things. Well, first, if you notice that I have a contextual tab that popped up called Table Tools with uh, Design as the tab. Clicking off of my table, that goes away. But if I click anywhere in my table, that will pop up. And in the Table Style Options, the three options that are by default with Excel is a header row, banded rows, and the filter button. So you can see the whole table is banded. If you notice, as I scroll down there, as long as I'm within my table, one of the cells is selected, as I scroll down, even though I don't have freeze panes on, the column letters A through H are replaced by the headers labels that I had for my table. So even though I don't have freeze panes on, if I scroll down in my table, I can still see what column I'm in and not have to guess on that. Scrolling back up to the top, they're still there in row one. If I uncheck header row, those disappear, but they're not deleted. They're still there. So if I go ahead, click on my table and click that again, they all reappear. Um, banded, you can band the rows, uncheck that. Maybe for your cases, banded columns makes more sense. That's available. You can also uh, bold the first column or the last column. Uh, just to make those stand out a little bit more. I'm just going to go back to banded rows. And again, the filter button is automatically checked. I can uncheck that and those filters go away. But there's another great feature of using tables is that all the benefits of sorting and filtering that Excel provides are now available um, with your table automatically. I'm not going to go through the details of how to use the sorter, sorting and filtering buttons, but those are automatically available now that you've uh, converted your data to a table. You can also choose a myriad of styles here. Up in this section you can see there's a table styles uh, area. I can click the down arrow here and now just by hovering over any of the options that it provides I can select a different style for my table. I'm going to choose that just to uh, make it a little bit different. Another great feature is the totals row. If I click here under total row, notice automatically Excel provides a total down here and puts in a total for the last column. The last column in this case is text, so instead of doing a sum, it's, now, it's provided a count. But if I click in other areas, notice I can do an average here, I can do a min or a max, uh, or I can do a sum of the uh, whatever column I'm in. And I can also go down to the bottom and click more functions and choose any function that Excel offers can be put into um, the total row of your table. So it becomes extremely flexible to put any of the data uh, that you need to see in that total row uh, down there via the option of uh, the more functions that are available. If you need to add rows to your table, all you need to do is click into the last table, hit your tab key, and Excel will uh, add 
additional rows. Notice uh, when you do that, it moves the total row down, automatically formats it, just like um, the rest of the table, and incorporates uh, any of the formulas that you had in the other uh, cells above into those new rows. So it automatically identifies formulas and populates those into the additional rows that you add um, automatically. So that's a great feature that Excel provides there. And uh, I think the last thing I wanted to mention with respect to um, the tables is the fact that if you make any modifications, oh, actually I did think of another one, but if you make any modifications to your formulas, Excel will automatically make that change to all the uh, formulas in that column. So uh, right now we have uh, in the sales column, it just takes the quantity times the price. But let's say for some odd reason we wanted to change the formula there to divide the price by uh, the quantity. I hit enter and notice it didn't just change the one I was in, the one cell. It changed all the cells for that column all the way down. I'm just going to hit Control Z to change that back. Uh, but that's a great feature. If you edit any of the cells, if you have it reference a different cell, if you do a find and replace, anything like that, it's going to adjust that for all your columns or all the rows in that column, not just the one that you're in. Lastly, if you for some reason or if you want to add additional columns to your sheet that are adjacent to your table. Uh, let's say I figured I want to add a city to this or location. Uh, I'll put location in. I hit enter. Excel automatically formats that new column just like the rest of the table, makes it part of the table, and adds the filtering and um, if there is any summing or any uh, in your total row you can be able to choose any of the options or functions that you want to include down there. Again, that's automatic as long as you're adding it adjacent to. If I put another one out here, it's not going to do anything. However, if I put it right next to the table, it will incorporate that into the table. So there's some great features that Excel offers when you're using tables instead of just using standard data ranges. Hope you find this useful. Glad you stopped by. And if you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy Excelling.